Roger here from Massacre Experts YouTube channel and it's time to put the cylinder head in. Now one thing you want to do in preparation of putting the cylinder head in, you want to blow out all of these blind holes. This is where the head bolts are going to go and any of these holes here that are closed, we want to make sure that they're all clean. I blew out all of the cylinders, wiped them down real quick and just make sure that everything looks good and I did turn the engine so that None of the pistons are at top dead center because I do have to install the, the camshafts after and then the valves can open slightly so we want to make sure there's enough clearance there. I do have new dowels for the cylinder head. Alright, so the only two spots on this head gasket is here and here for my two dowels. You know looking at the head actually there's one here and there's one here across from each other all right everybody the head gaskets in place i got one dowel here and one dowel here you know this is more than one layer so it is kind of like floating it is pretty normal and then the weight of the head and the head bolts it's going to sandwich this together and seal everything up nice all right hopefully this will be okay for a one-man show here and take my chain and I'm going to feed it through. I got the head on the side over here. It's nice if you actually have some extra help. I don't at the moment, so I'm going to just do the best I can. I'm going to catch press that there. Gotta remember to watch your chain guide too. Make sure your head's gasket's still in place. Everything's clear. Ah, there we go. Alright. It is in place. All right, this one should be floating. The other chain guide on the opposite side. That's not caught. All right, so there we go. The head is in place on those two dowels. And I'm gonna throw some head bolts in this just to start snugging it down. And then we can start doing the torque procedure. Now it is good to verify that the head gasket looks good. And you can see right under here, you can actually follow the entire length just to make sure that the head gasket is in place. You should see a little lip. You should see it go all the way through the perimeter because it can fall down on you. All right, everybody, let's start putting some head bolts in. You have to use new head bolts. You need a little bit of oil because these are supposed to be lightly oiled. But when you go crazy, you wanna just put real light coat on the threads and don't forget the washers. All right, now I put everything in bags so I wouldn't lose anything. All right, so we want to lubricate and start installing these. Realistically, it doesn't really matter in what order just to put them in because I'm going to get them all started. Again, I'm going to go through all these. I'm just putting the main head bolts in. Make sure to take a little bit of oil on these. Put a little bit of oil on the threads. Don't forget to put your washer on. And I'm going to go ahead and throw the rest of these in. All right, everyone, so those are all installed and bottomed out. And now you have to do the torque sequence. This is the torque sequence. And for an aluminum block, you have to do 40 is your initial torque, and then 90 degrees, and then another 90 degrees. Today, I'm only gonna do the 40 because I dropped my half inch torque wrench at work. And thankfully, somebody found it and let me know because it fell out of my tool bag when I was bringing it to my car. Surprisingly, that's pretty crazy, drop an expensive tool like that, but thankfully everyone at work is very honest and somebody found it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the one and two, basically, because you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number one is fourth one in. Two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. That's number one and number two. And then it goes 
number three, and then four, and then five, and then six. So it goes in a cross pattern like that. So we're gonna do the 40 initial torque. And three's up here. Four is here. And then five actually is right above it. And then six is right down here. And then seven, and then it goes seven and then eight and then nine and then 10. And then eight is second one from the back and nine straight up and then 10 we're coming across here. That was seven. That's 10 here. Second one from the bottom all the way to the outside of the car. Okay, 40, 10. Now 11's the far back one. It's gonna go 11, 12, 13, 14. Twelve is bottom front, and then thirteen straight up, and then fourteen is the far back bottom. All right, that's the initial torque for all of these, and then I have to do ninety and ninety in the same pattern, which I'm gonna have to do another day. But it's all initial torqued, so that's gonna sandwich everything down, and then we'll do the final torque when I get my half inch torque wrench. All right, everybody, let's get the chain guide in. You have to figure out which bolts it was. We have this longer one and the smaller one. All right, everybody, let's get the chain guide in. You have to figure out which bolts it was. We have this longer one and the smaller one. And that's gonna go right here. So do have to be careful because you don't wanna drop anything into the engine at this point. So we have the longer one here. And the longer one's going to go right there, and then you have the smaller one right there. This is where we're going to want to use a magnet and make sure we don't drop the smaller one in the engine. And get that placed where we want to, and get a few threads turned on it so that we know it's not going to fall anywhere. I'm just going to torque these down before I do my 90-90, because we already did our initial 40 torque. We have these other two right here. We got this longer one. I can assume that this one should go up here because that's going to be the longer area to the head. And then down here is going to be the smaller one because that's a little bit of a shorter area where the head's going to go to the block. And I want to make sure that all of these are mated correctly before I do my final torque. All right, so all of these are E8s. Again, I just want to make sure they all feel good, and I'm going to torque these down. You know, there was no torque spec specifically listed for these. I would assume that they'd be about 8 to 10 newton meters. Make sure your socket's good and tight on there so you don't drop the socket down inside the engine as well. Need a little bit more of an extension. Make things a little bit easier here. Alright, so I just want to torque those to about 8 newton meters. 8 to 10, why don't we call it 9? Yep, that felt good. Alright, double check. Holding torque. Good. And I'll check these again after I do my 90 and 90. All right, we need to do two 90 degrees in the same sequence as we did the original. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, 
uh, five, six in that pattern, that same pattern that I posted before. So number one, one, two, three, fourth one over, one, two, three, four. I gotta do 90 degrees. It's nice to have a torque wrench that remembers your position so that you can get the full 90 even with turning it. So let's do the first 90. What's nice with these, you can ratchet them to get your 90. So that's one, two is right below it. And this is also testing to make sure that the threads are going to hold correctly on my time cert repair. Okay, that's 290. One, two, three is up top here. Four is third one over from the outside. One, two, three. All right, because I started here. This is four. Five is right above it. Six, I'm going to go from the third one from the outer edge, the six on the bottom. Seven is the second one over from the top here. Eight is the second one over on the bottom. Nine is straight up. Ten, second one over bottom all the way on the outside. Eleven, all the way back corner top. 12 is the bottom one all the way at the end. 13 straight up. And then 14 all the way in the back corner, bottom. All right, now that's your first 90. You don't do 90 and then 90 again. You do them all and then you do it a second time for another 90. So we start at number one again. Number one was the fourth one in. Make sure you're always seated. One, two, three, four. That is number one. So second 90. Gonna be a little bit harder. Two, straight down. Second 90. It's good. The time cert repair is holding. Number three, cross up. Number three, make sure you're fully seated. Number four, let's cross. So three in, one, two, three. Number four. Number five, straight up. Number six is third one in from the back. Number seven, Second one from the top. Number eight, second one from the bottom in the back. Number nine, straight up. Number 10, second one on the bottom. 11, far back corner. 12, right here, bottom front. 13, straight up. 14 is the back bottom. All right, that's the cylinder heads all torqued down. Ready to go to the next step, putting the camshafts in. All right, can do a quick double check of these smaller bolts in the front. And you can actually see they actually did loosen up. That one did at least right there. So it's good to go over these a second time. See that one right there actually took a little torque. Okay, nine Newton meters. I like it. 